this morning sunshine in my eyes wow that song so we actually wrote it two weeks before the world went into lockdown oh, so right. it's crazy because the song feels like it's the kind of song that people need to be hearing um right now um to empower people to keep pushing forward with everything that's crazy that's happening right now you know um but when we wrote the song i think i was thinking more about just being grateful for my life just being grateful that i'm you know i'm able to do what i do it came from that kind of pure place and then it has now become this like prophetic anthem for people yeah. to just say you know look up and count your blessings one day at a time you know live your life that's the best we can do uh, my sound right now feels like a mix of uh, afrobeat r&b soul pop you know my influences are from like fela to ksa king sonia day to uh sia to lauren hill mm -hmm. to shade you know so it's like a, it's definitely a mashup of sounds but i also know that right now I'm, i feel like i'm making music that no one else has heard before which is exciting as an artist yeah you know i think the music industry is a, is a, is an interesting industry you know i think being persistent and being authentic are the most important things that you can do so i'm satisfied but i know that i'm at the same time not satisfied because i have a long way to go and i know we're we're making moves so it's like one day at a time you know i i think every day you one fan at a time one song at a time i have new music coming out this year and i'm really excited yes definitely I'm it's, I I shouldn't be teasing people that I'm listening to my music in my room but it's coming very soon uh, very very soon you know um might have another single and an EP and definitely an album coming very soon cuz okay. I've been working you know I like to I like my music to be timeless like the kind of records that you hear them in a year time and it still feels like it came out yesterday that kind of feel you know I want to be remembered I want my music to outlive me I want to be able to be an artist where you know 50 years from now people are still spinning my records. I want to be remembered for being a woman that was bold and you know authentic. Yeah, and I want to be remembered for being a woman that had a positive impact on on women coming after me. I think Black History Month is a celebration of resilience. And I also a celebration of excellence. Um and recognition that some often times most times you know black people do not receive in in on the global stage and what has happened is as we continue to celebrate ourselves we can now we can slowly see a shift in the world recognizing you know our contribution globally uh there's like the whole like chronics the like hey there's coffee you know that's super cool um if we go to the US like i'm always listening to like lucky day i really like lucky day zaza is really cool in toronto there's uh, savannah ray um there's toby um i think i'm inspired by people who who push boundaries you know so I, i really am inspired by people who are who are just trying to be themselves in their music and just speak truth you know i i really and it doesn't matter what truth they're speaking as long as it's truth i'm inspired by that i i think it helps as an artist you know people like identify and respect who you are and what you do you know at the end of the day for me it's about the music it's always about the music for me so it's exciting it's cool you know it's fun and i love fashion especially in nigeria like there's so many amazing designers doing amazing work and i love collaborating with them because music and fashion go hand in hand but for me at the end of the day the music is 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 always is always front and center for me well someone i would love 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 to work with and i this might sound predictable but sauti soul they just uh. they just kill it. i actually watched one of the, no but let me tell you i actually watched one of their sound checks once they came to nigeria oh, and it was just the musicianship that's when my level of respect i it just it blew my mind i really like love what, when artists take their music to another level so i watched their sound tech and it was so clean and so, it was just i was so impressed by everything that they do i think in the past it was very linear but i think now there's a lot of diversity happening 
And I think that diversity is happening because also technology, like boom, plays behind you, right? Like technology is giving people access to listen to music and also to discover music, which makes my work more accessible to people in Kenya, people in Ghana, people in South Africa. So we're building the ecosystem that we need. You know, that's a very like, you know, technical answer, but it's true, you know? Um, Cause I think when you can curate your own playlist, yeah. it changes the way you listen and engage with artists. And it means that there's more ways that other different artists can get, can, can reach, you know, every city, every place on the continent. Kenyan family, guys, I'm coming to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for the love and support. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook at, at Falano Music, F-A-L-A-N-A -A Music. I like to say hi, I like to make new friends. And let me know what you think about Joy too. Thank you.